it. We have been disempowered by a rational tendency to deny our irrational roots, which are a kind of embarrassment to science, because science is uh, the special province of the ego, and magic and art are the special province of something else. I could name it, but I won't. It prefers to be unnamed. Is there? I think you just respond. Yeah, this is gonna make the game insanely yeah. easy, by the way. Yeah, Halo, Halo, very, very <laughs> Like it was pretty different. What's going on there? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. This time started fighting and shooting at me. Well, you might have killed too many of them or something. <laughs> oh, they're attacking me too! <laughs> I'm sorry, too. I'm dead too. <laughs> killed by the fucking Marines, what the fuck? I didn't realize you could so uh, aggressively uh, uh, get them in uh, friendly fiery. I want to especially thank Andy Wolf and the definitely Museum didn't know, didn't of Art that. in Oxnard for yeah, inviting me. Yeah, I mean, I'll okay. notice that you could get uh, It represents there. a real commitment to uh, free well, speech and shot. First Amendment rights, I think, for an we art wanted museum. wanted by the UNSC. Art museums have been taking some knocks recently, and so I think they doubly should be commended for their uh, courage. And I want to explain, as Andy mentioned, this is a benefit for the Panical Dimension, which explains the double price. All of this money will go to the preservation of uh, medicinal plants with a history of shamanic usage. That is the special focus of our botanical garden in Hawaii. And before I start the formal lecture, I'd like to just say a little bit about that. As you know, the rainforests of the world are being cleared at a very frightening rate. And, oh, we uh, saved the Marines. Saved Perhaps, the Marines. Now they won't uh, fucking get us. Voices are beginning to be heard. Yeah, I've got to watch out. Go maintain our, of the our alliance with them. Oh, you got but that one pipe in the back. The destruction of the knowledge yeah, of the native peoples concerning the uses of the planet. Yeah, I remember this mission forest. quite well. This is disappearing. Without doubt, the next 30 years, these people are moving into cities, uh, taking jobs in the ordinary market economy, and thousands of years of accumulated folk medical knowledge is being it. lost. So the real world political work that Kath and I do is associated with botanical dimensions. Ooh. We Did conceived it together many, many <laughs> years ago. And then about six years ago, a cat took it over, put it on its official okay? feet, made it a, a uh, non-profit foundation. And has run yeah, because Croton is still back in high charity, which is like the Covenant stronghold that got overtaken by the flood. So I'd like to acknowledge this part, I remember this part really well. My better half. In fact, my only gift. Watch yourself. Blow the thruster. Hang on. Get a hold of her. Yes. And then I wanted to underscore what Andy said. A very special event two weeks from now at the Carnegie Museum. Roy Tuckman, Roy of Hollywood, Bon Vivant, countercultural figure, informational spirit of our time, will be recast 
as an experimental composer of great uh, energy and imagination. And I hope you'll all uh, turn out for Roy. He's been a wonderful force uh, in my life and I think in the cultural life of Southern California. Both Roy and Diane have done a wonderful job in raising Another thing I've noticed is that Mealy is a lot more powerful. Yeah, yeah, I remember Mealy being a big part of it. In the last game, Brutes could tank three hits from an energy, energy sword, and it took like ten melees to take one down. Oh, he gave it to me. Give it to me. Okay. Well, the theme that unites these lectures is uh, creativity and the technique by which the artist can his or her vision, expand the vision, communicate the vision. And uh, before I get into a that issue, is I thought I would talk just a too. little bit about Hello, my notion of creativity per se. What is it uh, uh, in and of itself? And when I think like that, of course, I cast my mind back to nature. Nature is the great visible engine of creativity against which all other creative efforts uh, are measured. Dead, dead, dead. And creativity in nature dead, has a curious okay, uh, right, distribution. It's something that's a human through time. If we stand back and look oh, at the universe, oh, oh, we see that at its earliest moment, <laughs> it was very yeah. simple. Thanks, Chief. It was a plenum. It was without oh. character. Oh. Sniper here. Snipe them. Snipe them hard. The oh, there's another sniper here if you want it. And naturally, it's right, if it's right here. You can't say much about it. It takes a while for it to undergo a declension into more creative realms. And these creative realms are distinguished as domains of difference. The precondition for creativity is, I think, just equilibrium, what mathematicians now call chaos. Oh, shut up and start and fighting. Sergeant the Major went this way, Chief. Of the universe, through the case. Coming through this way, Chief. Have fallen. More and more complex compound structures have arisen. <laughs> and though there's been, um, you know, okay. many a uh, slipping back, in this process. Over very large spans of time, we can say that creativity is conserved, that the universe becomes more creative. And out of that state of creative, a thing that be more creative. That chieftain just tanked like four heads. The universe yeah. is almost what we right here. Um, for the production of ever more novel forms oh, of no. connectedness, ever more exotic juxtapositions of disparate elements. And out of oh, this, we'll get uh, I believe, Darby's arises dead. implicitly Real. a set saved. of principles that we can then apply to... Nade, no! Uh, Ooh, that might be a risky shot! Sorry, man. Forgive me, that's the combat situation. Oh, there's a guy with that thing! Nature's creativity is obviously the wellspring of human creativity. Oh, we emerge you can have the grab hammer if you want it. Okay. Almost, and this idea is fairly present close to the surface of the medieval mind. We emerge out of nature almost as its finest work of art. Uh, the, the medieval mind spoke of the productions of nature. This is a phrase you hear as late as the 18th century. The productions of nature. 
and human creativity uh, emerges out of that, whether you have a model of the Aristotelian um, great ladder of being or a more modern evolutionary view where we actually uh, consolidate emergent property. I've got to check my controls on the just now, I'm sure that we can carry out a discussion of this story without observing that the prototypic figure for the artist, as well as for the scientist, is the shaman. Oh, there you are. Nice. Is the figure at the beginning of human history that unites the doctor, the scientist, and the artist into a single notion of caregiving and creativity. And I think that, you know, to whatever degree art over the past several centuries has wandered in the desert, Going it is here. because this go? oh, no, we have to go over here, don't we? has been either suppressed or forgotten. And we've uh, different images of the artist have been held up at different times. Uh, the artist as uh, artisan, the artist as uh, handmaiden of a ruling class or family, the artist as designer for the production of integrated objects into a civilization. Uh, Ooh, we got this notion a of the artist inbound. as well, mystical journey oh, as one oh. who goes oh, where is into the world unseen by others unaffected. and then returns to tell them <laughs> of it. You're sure, pretty much lost in the post-medieval uh, and Renaissance conception of art up until the late 19th century or early 20th century, where, beginning with the romantic, uh, there is off. a new permission <laughs> to explore the Iraq. <laughs> Be careful, Maurice. You can destroy these, there's an achievement for it. I remember trying to get it when I was a kid. But I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, there's a whole bunch of guys over here. Oh my god. Pick a target arbiter. Pick a target arbiter. I've got a fucking gun. You know, I'm an idiot. Oh, chief. There's love for chief here. <laughs> Nobody cares about the arbiter, how the arbiter feels about war, but everybody wants him to be more than Contact is Bellican dropship, Kilo 2 3. Over. Roger that. What's the word? Kilo 2 3. Zero 117 on board. West priority clearance. Over. Dick Short, come on down. New permission, permission really for the unthinkable. And this, uh, again, reinforces the shamanic function. What do we mean when we say the unthinkable? Sorry for the tight squeeze. Tell the, the commander her ace is in the hole. Which can be conceived and for uh, at least 200 years, the ostensible mission of Check it the out. artist has no been way. 
Spartan? For real? You better not be. Oh man, he's here. Where did you find him? Napping. Out back. <laughs> I'll bet. It's good to see you, Chief. Likewise, Chief. Let's get you up to speed. The Prophet of Truth's ships breached the lunar perimeter, smashed what was left of the home fleet. Terrestrial casualties from the subsequent Oh my god, we got a chief. Let's take a picture. <laughs> Truth could have landed anywhere, but he committed all his forces here, East Africa, the ruins of New Mombasa. Then they started digging. What about Halo? We stopped it, but only temporarily. Now the Prophet of Truth is looking for something called the Ark, where he'll be able to fire all the Halo rings. Well, if he succeeds, humanity, to me, uh, the Covenant, there is a sentient being in the galaxy. For the creation of Ark, the rings will kill which I call Man, rings will kill us all. Patch him through. Good and news, Commander Keys. Good as it gets, uh, sir. In an intellectual so I see. sense. What's your status, I mean son? In Green. the sense that sir. Alfred North Whitehead intended Commanders come up with a good plan. Without you, I wasn't sure we could pull it off. Truth ships are clustered the above the excavation site, as and his such. infantry has deployed anti-aircraft batteries such. around the perimeter. There's but nothing more if to you neutralize one of the bats, you see, punch a hole in the fucking day to dump this shit. What the hell is it with the face of the other guy? That guy looks like fucking Ron Perlman. Again. <laughs> Emergency generators, now! Shielding failed. They're down and, and charging. As soon as they're up, re-establish contact with Lord Hood. Let him know. Now I shift oh, my depth of fear. Now oh, I'm God, looking at where God. men are sitting and this. where women are sitting. You it's a different pattern and it tells me more about oh, what I am looking at. Until it the number of glass. these patterns, not even your theoretically present in any construction, is weakened. From its hole to that the says to me, then, that the depth of understanding of cannot be known. It cannot be known. Everything is imminent. William Blake I makes this I am point. their you instrument. Infinity in a grain of sand. Loves to run his mouth. Understanding is me. This is so Xbox era. Give the order. We're closing shop. And this understanding. We're about to get hit. Is not so much in the light. The wounded. We're getting all of them out. Visual. I have to carry him myself. Visual. Ma'am, squad leaders are requesting a rally point. Where should they go? And in thinking about this, I realized. What to war upon my own war. ideas in this area, uh, Aldous Huxley was. Not we just the get, Huxley that we get our ordinarily our associate uh, with my concerns, the Huxley of the Doors of So are we on a Halo or are we on Earth? We're on Earth. But the Huxley yeah, Halo 2 ends with Master Chief returning to Earth on a Forerunner ship. And, the, uh, and Arbiter, Miranda, and Johnson are on the Halo ring. I don't know how they got back to Earth, though. Because <laughs> the last time I checked, they were stranded on Halo. So the uh, Covenant attack uh, Earth? Hand. Uh, they do in Halo 2, yeah. To By accident, but now they're attacking for real. <laughs> for real? <laughs> yeah, because the first that time they didn't know real. Earth was the Into human the capital, so they just got annihilated. But now they're back, it looks like. I remember this spot really well. You too, Arbiter. The commander will brief you as you go. Now, out of this process... Follow me, sir. Perimeters this way. Perimeters this way. Going down or up? The down? Uh, okay, I guess we go down. <laughs> and many of you have heard Can't wait to try some Halo 3 multiplayer after, in too. Yeah. In the context of nature as a novelty producing engine of some sort. And ourselves almost as the, hand, <clears throat> the handiwork of nature. Wake up. But Point of entry, same best assessment. Hang your sergeant. Work of nature, Agreed. Chief we Arbiter, get there. We We're also you, Chief. internalize uh, get and re express through the novelty of the human world. We're with you, sir. Well, now, if we take seriously the the shamanic Chief? model Good. as His a basis is for our pen, My our fire teams are spread thin. 
can't hold that certainly I need that hangar clear for context. evac ASAP. What we see missing from the repertoire of the artist are oh. people on the bath and Oh god. Oh, it landed on the um, that I would draw here this evening. So I want you to cast your mind back to a great seminal moment, germinal moment in the history of human thought. It was about 25,000 years ago, the great glaciers that had covered most of the Eurasian landmass began to melt, and human populations that had been islanded from each other for about oh, uh, famous, 16 uh, millennia began to recontact each Ooh, other sorry, and sorry. reconnect. Yeah, Don't even you? grunts and used to take two melee hits in the last one. The Magdalenian huh. Revolution from 18,000 to 22,000 They probably years dumbed ago. it down a bit. And Xbox 360 is, was the dumb generation. <laughs> 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 That's true, Just yeah. Press a button and uh, get to the next part. Creativity generation. And <laughs> dumb generation. Wipe those bastards off the, the set! The part of the human species. We find, uh, the, for the first time, bone and antler technology takes its place along Ooh. the stone technology. Musical instruments oh. appear the Pelicans can't launch over until the hangar's clear area. And cave paintings Xbox 360 generation, the dumb generation built for oh for 13 year old. <laughs> <laughs> 13-year-old control uh, uh level control and uh, set up in the <laughs> Literally drop right on us. I didn't expect that. Sound, light, and dance in Halakan. Extravaganzas of a set. Oh, very almost fired on screen. Invoke a kind of transcendent other that human beings, for the first time, are trying to come to grips with and make some kind oh, send it of in wave two. statement about. And this pulling into matter of the ideals Whoa. of human beings, first, you know, in the form of uh, 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 beadwork and chipped stone and carved bones, oh. within 20,000 years, ushers into the kinds of high civilizations that we see oh. around us and points oh. us toward the kind of Ooh. extraplanetary... Darby Dar can jump fucking super high. Same with Chief, too. Yeah, we can... <laughs> high jump in this <laughs> halo quality. We can high jump and now, we can high teabag. Oh, cool. Look at this little battle. In exteriorization <laughs> of ideas... Let's go look at that. ...is entirely oh. an aesthetic adventure. I mean, the more you look at it, the Until older it gets. Uh, that is cool. It is. It's, I really miss pushing tab to see what the original looks like and comparing them to the remastered and original. Maybe they'll eventually upload do a do a thing for this one. That's what I googled and they said it's not happening. <laughs> I googled it and I was like, will it, will, will it ever come out? And they're like, probably not. They're focused on Halo Infinite. Phil Spencer's like, if you're hoping for a, a Halo 3 update, it'll never happen. that have logic in them, ideas. This not happen. We don't want to touch it. Unique, <laughs> of the human animal. We'll just leave it how it is. Condensation. Of ideas. Yeah. I go in the right way, I don't know. <laughs> and the laws. Is language. Seems to be where we were, yeah. It said op center, so I was assuming op center is back here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, look, there's a checkpoint. Uh, that composes life on this planet. To my mind, the place to look is human language. Human America, language represents right an ontological break of major magnitude with anything so, else going on on this planet. I mean, oh, I hate this part. This is like my least favorite part in this game. Yeah, this part, I used to play it on Legendary and you die like instant. 
William Crane. The bane of every first person uh, shooter flying and shooting. I'm seeing them do them. And language. Oh, fire, throw fire. I'm nading them in the air. Oh, I didn't blow up in time. And I was nading them good there. I've given a lot of thought to this because um, the work that I've done with psilocybin mustard <laughs> and the opposition <laughs> of psychedelic plants in the Amazon centered around ayahuasca lead me to the conclusion that it is the synergy and catalysis of language that lies behind not only the emergence of human consciousness out of animal organization, oh, just but then one one, one. its ability to if set a to course a timer, for a transcendental dimension and pursue <laughs> that course. Yeah, they were really like the they're really going for something like Halo Three, that's for sure. But it's hard to say what, how it uh, how it went off the rails. But I mean, how do you come down from this? More than a group do. of pack Good hunting luck, monkeys. It's made us a group of pack hunting monkeys Chief. with a dream. <laughs> These face and models the are really from that dream dated. has given us I know, yeah. They're great though. It, it brings you right back to Xbox 360 area. I can't believe that. I can't believe that art, this was what was running on the Xbox 360. Series. But honestly, like things like anti-aliasing, uh, no, texture crispness, resolution, all of those things to would be different off running on Xbox 360. So this is probably a much, this is a much more crisp experience than 360 ever would be. NATO, plenty of brutes. Poetry. All of these I think, there's a, I think soon we go to a part where it's way more open. But. Yeah, it's after oh, this one. Shit, what the fuck is that? Ah! What the fuck is that? See, I look all brand all of a sudden. Oh. As you know, shamans in all times and places uh, gain their power through relationships with healthy spirits. Oh, there's a guy coming. But somehow the acquisition of a relationship with Yeah, no, he's got the boot. Oh, got him. Nice move. It's the precondition for authentic shamanism. Now, nowhere Chief is in the our true world shaman. do we have an institution like that that we do not consider pathological. Except Where the hell are, do we go? <laughs> this way? Trick shot. Oh, I see. Oh, fuck, you kill it. What the fuck That uh, artists, oh. alone among human beings, are given oh God, permission to talk picking up Cortana porn. <laughs> my inspiration. Or a voice which told me to do this. Reading. Or, uh, she like, in our, uh, in our helmets or something? Uh, no, she's still back on High Charity, which is like the Covenant capital. Then it's been taken over by the Flood. It's actually the worst mission in all of Halo is in this game. It's rescuing Cortana. That's, I think, the second last mission, though. And so, if society is to somehow take hold of itself at this penultimate moment, as we literally waver on the brink of planetary extinction then the artist running back the following her thread out of the laboratory this machine gun is so effective because it has absolutely no feedback so you can just kind of like you just kind of blast with it and you know one of the most it fires so smoothly and so to us by the male dominant officially is to um brush out Oh, a gold one. Into the we don't it's kind of a disgusting area. It's like an old bathroom. Isn't how it? We got <laughs> Most people can't think back yeah, this is part of the base. This is a part of the base they don't talk about. Oh, a stick bomb of some kind. No, uh, the arrival of the Vikings 
fall of the Tatars, the Yost, the melting of the glaciers, so forth and so on. We have been disempowered by Dumb. a rational tendency Generator. to deny our irrational sucker. roots, which are a kind of embarrassment to science, because science go, go is uh, the special province Sweet. of the ego, and magic and art. Commander, we lost the op center. 